Alright guys, today I've got my Moto G here and per request of one of my uh, followers, my subscribers, um, I'm going to show you guys how to install Paranoid Android on this device. You've seen some other videos on unlocking it, installing recovery, restoring, all that kind of stuff on the Moto G and now we're going to install PA, so, or Paranoid Android. So it's a custom ROM, very cool. I'm just going to go over like I do normally just to show you guys what device I've on here. Obviously, you want to make sure you have good battery life before you install any ROMs. So I do have like over 90%. And right here, Moto G 4.4.2. This is the GSM US version. So that would be the XT1032. And that's what I've got. Now, you are going to have to have a unlocked bootloader. That's a requirement. I have a video on it. I'll probably link it in the video description for you guys. And obviously, you're going to have to install the or download the Paranoid Android ROM along with the Paranoid Android Google applications to your device. Get them on your device. You're going to have to have a custom recovery installed. All these things I have videos on, so definitely go check those out. Again, I'll put those in the video description down below. And so let's go ahead and get in this. First thing you're going to do once you've got everything downloaded and installed on your device, power off, shut down the device. Now, if you're in a custom ROM, you might have a something in there that says reboot to recovery, which would be easy. Um, right now, this is stock for me. So, next, you're going to take your power button or your volume up and down buttons and hold them both. And then you're going to hold your power button. Count to one, two, three. Let go of them all. And this will put you in a bootloader mode. So, this is very important to know how to get into this at any time because if you have an unlocked bootloader and custom recovery installed this is your back door to fix something when your device totally messes up restore an android backup all that kind of stuff this is the back door to get into it so from here you're just going to go volume down because volume down is your scroll feature highlight recovery and volume up is your select and this is going to boot into recovery so right now i have um, i think it's clockwork mod recovery on this device right now and running so this should boot into that recovery if you don't have a custom recovery installed when you do those steps you're gonna boot to um, stock Android recovery and you can't do anything in there with flashing of custom ROMs or doing Android backups or any of that kind of stuff so just be aware that's that's how you you get into it so now that we've done this first thing you're gonna do before you ever flash anything is always do a backup so go to backup and restore scrolling is your volume up and down power is your select button so we're gonna go back up and restore and go to select uh, back up to SD card and select and it's gonna run my first Nandroid backup on this device since I last wiped it anyway <laughs> so we're gonna let this Nandroid backup run as soon as it's done we'll come back and show you the rest of the steps to flash paranoid Android to your device okay so our backup has completed and you want to scroll down to the bottom or scroll up and it goes right to the bottom go back a screen and we're gonna go ahead and do our wipes now that we have a full back we can always boot in here and restore it um, using that same key buttons to get to the boot menu and then boot to recovery so we're gonna go ahead and go to wipe data factory reset hit enter go down hit yes and wiping data and factory resetting very good Then we're going to go to wipe cache yes very good. Next, we're going to go to Advanced and then go to Wipe Delvet Cache. Say yes. And we've got all of those things wiped. Now, this thing says to format system. Um, next, I really don't like formatting system. You can do it under Mounts and Storage and then go down here to Format System. I'm going to try installing it without doing it just because. It seems like a risky thing for me to do, and it can mess things up. Every time I've messed with it, it's always been an issue, and most of the time I've gotten away without doing it. So if you want if you want to do it, do it there. If you have problems, maybe come back and redo the install and do it that, but I'm not going to do it. It should, it should format that and wipe it when you flash the ROM. So from here, we're just going to go ahead and install the ROM. So install, zip, choose zip from SD card, zero folder, and I'm going to go to downloads. That's where I've put my... Uh, zips and here we go first one is the PA XT 1032 4.0 beta 5 zip so we're gonna select that and then hit yes to flash it 
and go ahead and let this thing flash. Shouldn't take too long. It's not a very big file. So let's see what it, see what we get here. All right, that was very very quick. Took about 20 seconds to flash that. So then we're going to say choose it from SD card again. Zero folder again. Downloads. At least that's where I put mine. And then go to PA gaps stock 4.4.2. Blink 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 sign zipped and select it. Go yes to install it and it should install this. Again, this shouldn't take very long at all to install. Um, should be very, very quick here. Actually, your gap, your Google applications or, or gaps should be almost the same size as the ROM. The ROM is pretty, pretty uh, compact. Not very big ROM, but hopefully we'll be able to show you this as soon as it uh, finishes up here. You can see there is a progress bar along the bottom moving very small there, though hard to see in the camera, I guess. Okay, there we go. That's all finished up. And you're just going to go back. Reboot system now. Shabam. And obviously you have that in Android backup if you need to go back to it. So it's always nice to have that in your back pocket. You can see I don't have the unlocked bootloader logo right there. I went ahead and uh, whoop, 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 did a little magic right there and got rid of it. Um, you can see videos on that if you want how to get rid of that unlock logo. Here you go, this is going to be the Paranoid Android boot animation. A little, kind of looks like a little eyeball with some of the Google circles kind of floating around it. Um, interesting. Haven't seen that one before. I wish it would like do something else like expand into like an Android guy or do something a little bit more, but you know, whatever. So let's let this thing boot up. First boot up probably going to take up to five minutes. Ten if you have problems and then um, I would go ahead and if it doesn't boot by then Go ahead and boot into bootloader mode like I told you about. Restore your Android backup. You'll be back and running. And then you can figure out what happened, why it didn't install right. So let's go ahead and I'll pause right here. And we'll get back to it when it boots up. Shabam. Boom, boom. Took about uh, three minutes to boot up there on that first boot. And, hmm, interesting. Don't know what happened right there. Had that start screen. Let's, let's see what's going on here. There it goes, all right. So we're gonna go ahead and hit start. Okay, here we go. I'm just gonna go ahead and bounce through my setup really quick here. Okay, connected. I'm actually gonna not actually get into, well, I'll set up my, my time zone, I guess. There we go. And skip through this, skip through, finish. And I'm not actually gonna go ahead and, I'm not actually gonna go ahead and hook up my Google applications right now. But here we go. This is going to be Paranoid Android or PA, however you want to call it. This is their ROM. And let's go ahead and show it to you. So first screen is pretty much plain and simple. I'm actually going to take one of these applications just to show it to you guys and put it, well, put it, I'll put it on another page. There we go. So now we actually have a couple pages here to scroll with. And we'll go ahead and pull down our pull down. Okay, so this is going to be interesting. Quick pull down. Would like... Would you like the edge of the status bar to pull down quick settings? It's interesting. So we're gonna say we're gonna say um, we're gonna say yes. Okay. Very cool. So you have all these little settings in here: light bulb, cell service, battery information. And then you can even well, that's interesting. It adds a couple other things right down through here by kind of tapping that. That's uh, different. All right. Now it says the edge of the status bar is supposed to pull down these, and I think the rest of the status bar, yeah. So this is your notifications here, but if you pull on the edge, then it opens up all of your quick toggles. So that's pretty nice, pretty nice, it's pretty cool. Let's see what else we got here. There you go, you can get right back to it. Or hit, hit that, oh, okay, that's pretty slick. So anytime you get little messages, it'll pop up in here. Well, we'll play with that some more. It, it's a notification thing is what it is and it'll pop up in and out when you get notifications. So kind of cool. Uh, but definitely be playing with that some more um, if I get some time here. Yeah, there you can turn it off and on that way. See that? And then it turns on. So very interesting. I'm, I'm going to be playing with that and see how that functions. Let's go ahead and go in your app drawer. Um, pretty standard looking. You do have your uh, CM file browser right here. And all of its features if you've gotten used to using that at all. Um, go back in here again and see what else we got. FM radio is right there. Light bulb is right there to turn on your flash as a flashlight. 
and the rest of this looks really pretty standard it's pretty much all google google looking stuff in it um not anything too too uh, interesting that sticks out to me documents is like there yeah everything looks pretty standard a little bit of aosp stuff um let's go ahead and go into settings because this is where the magic happens with paranoid android um and let's see what they got in here in this sucker so um looking through it this all looks pretty standard yeah pretty standard looking stuff here it does say hollow and there's some definite things you can adjust in here ping unlock and uh enable message pop-ups different different uh settings in there which is going to have to do with this button it's pretty much the set settings for that stuff right there uh let's see what else we got in here so it does have super sue obviously already in it install add-ons scripts super sue survival mode blank 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 and then okay so you do have super sue in here which is very cool I'm going to go ahead and show you this because this is going to add some extra features, I think. So we're going to tap on our build number. We're going to turn on developer options. And we have them because developer options not only turns on that, but it also turns on performance. So now you can come in here and you can look at your CPU speeds. So min, max CPU speeds. And you can tweak with those, set on boot, change your governors, all that kind of stuff, which is very, very cool. Um, I.O. schedules, memory management, all this kind of stuff can be adjusted now that you've turned on development options. Also, in development options, see if it has it in here or not. Um, you can change it to Delvic or Art for a runtime environment, which is pretty slick. Now, I know inside Genmod it also allows you to turn on a uh, expanded reboot menu, but this doesn't look like it's going to do that in here. So there you go. That's going to be pretty much most of it. I'm a little disappointed because... A full running PA Android has all kinds of customization you can do through the settings menu besides what I'm seeing in here. Um, app privacy, you got that. Hollow. So it's got some of the features, but it's not all there yet. It is a beta though, so that is just the way it's going to go. Um, let's go ahead and look at wallpaper though. See if they got any paranoid Android wallpapers in here. No, it looks pretty much, uh, pretty much stock stuff in there right now. Um, it does have this little hollow feature, which is neat, though. Let's see if it has a reboot menu on it. So I'm going to go ahead and power off and go to reboot. Yeah, it does. It does have reboot or reboot to recovery. So that's nice. At least that's built in there, which is very cool. Um, let's go also ahead and, and check out the lock screen. don't normally show you guys this. I always forget to. So just a single, a single lock button. You can slide this up and go right into Google. Um, if it was turned on, I know you could, or you can turn it off and you can tap here and go right to, right to camera, it'll do it, there it goes, and should function, yep, there it goes, so right into camera, and you've got your cool looking camera right there, which is pretty slick, so there are some nice little lock screen options on there too, um, not, not too bad. So there you go guys, that's going to be my review of Paranoid Android on the Moto G, at least at this point, running beta 5 or 4, whatever it was. Um, pretty cool. Definitely want to play with that hollow thing. I'm pretty sure it works with notifications and it does some fun little stuff for you. But that's pretty much it. Oh yeah, really quick, widgets right here to right here. That's how you're going to get into all your widgets. They're not actually in your app drawer. So, like I said, that's going to be it guys for you. Moto G, Paranoid Android, ROM install review. Hope you guys like this. Keep following for more videos on this device and lots of other ones. Check me out at uh, rootjunkie.com. Ching, ching. Whoop. Right there. And uh, we'll catch you guys in the next one. Root Junkie out.